A conservative commentator has been busted putting on digital blackface to try to apparently trick voters into supporting former president and convicted felon Donald Trump. So Joey Manorino, a white Italian-American man, pictured there with Trump, posted this to his ex-account. I'm a true black American woman, and I've been black all my life. I was born black, and I will die black. My mommy black, my daddy black. I will never cast a ballot for that. Kamala Harris, woman, as long as I live. Trump all the way, all day, every day. And of course, there's a picture of a black woman. <laughs> okay. Now, by the way, that woman picture is an actual black Republican. I'll give you the details on that later. Uh, but, uh, oh, would you look at that? Really? I, I, I am a strong black woman. Really? Mm, okay. Uh, Manorino ended up deleting that tweet quickly, but not before people noticed. In fact, Baloney Tony 305 screen capped it. That's why I have it. Uh, and said this, I just caught Joey Manorino pretending to be a black woman voting as a Republican. Mm. It's so good. I, I mean, come on, Republicans. Do you think that uh, black people are going to support you? Sure. It's not like the Democrats don't have a lot of issues. They do. Uh, but uh, as Lindsey Graham admitted, the Republican Party's racist. Are you going to actually, you know, uh, as a black person, want to vote for Republicans? Not unless you're wealthy. Uh, so <laughs> that said, they know that black people are not en masse uh, jumping up to support Republicans. And because of that, they have to make up black support. I mean, do, do you remember, you remember this guy, uh, Dean Browning? I'm a black gay guy, and I can personally say that Obama did nothing for me. My life only changed a little bit, and what's for the worse? Everything is so much better under Trump, though. I still respect it, which I never do. The Democrats are involved. Mm. How utterly embarrassing. Uh, now, of course, after being called out for this, Manorino claimed, oh, you know, I just, I just forgot to log out of my friend's iPad. You know, my black friend. Oh, really? A tweet posted from my account was a result of my account being logged on a friend's device, Manorino wrote in a follow-up post. Clearly, I am not a black woman, unlike the Democrat nominee for president. I don't spend my time pretending to be a black woman to garner votes under false pretense. Wait a minute, she actually literally is a black woman. Are you, say are you saying that, she that Kamala Harris is not black enough as a white man? That's weird. I'm just saying, <laughs> let's, well, let, let's say it, let's say it again. The Republican Party's racist. Okay. Um, the lesson here is always log yourself out when borrowing or using friends' devices. Because even months later, you'll stay logged in if you haven't changed passwords. On to the next scandal. All right. Um, I, I love this uh, excuse, right? First of all, uh, I'm not buying it because you actually have to have friends in order to use your devices. Johnny Manorino does not seem like someone who would have a lot of friends. Just saying. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. Secondly, though, um, wait, what happened to your device? Why are you, like, having to bum devices off other people? That's weird, right? And, 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 and to tweet. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, so now, that said, Laverne Spicer is the black woman that is actually pictured in that photo. So... You're saying that she took a photo of herself, not realizing that she was Joey uh, using Joey Manorino's account, even though it, it's right there in front of you, right? Posting, you like, got to post a picture, got to write everything out. You didn't notice that you were under someone else's account? And I'm just saying, like, I know how you switch accounts on Twitter that are linked, right? So... You have to go down. You have to, you know, basically uh, click on your, you know, name, whatever, uh, and and switch it over. And she forgot to do that when posting her super very pro Trump. I, I no, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. As Tony asks. Do you really believe that Laverne would be posting from her account for months while Joey is in Europe and then decide to switch it to his account and accidentally post from that account? No, I don't believe it at all. I am not buying it. That was 100% Joey messing up. And Laverne 
covering for him, by the way. Look, here's the thing. I think Republicans believe that black voters are stupid. They really do. I mean, as evidenced by the push from Trump to market golden sneakers, his mugshot, and his criminal convictions as ways to try to appeal to black voters, showing that he isn't no black voters at all. Uh, believes all the stereotypes, which is 100% Trump. Here's the thing. You know what black voters want? What everybody else wants. Safety, secure neighborhoods, economic prosperity, you know, a good education for their kids, things like health care, as well as, of course, a fair criminal justice system where you don't end up getting shot in the face by racist cops. That, that's also something the black community is generally pretty interested in. Uh, things like that. Nothing that the Republican Party has ever actually tried to offer them. They'd do much better with black voters if they actually, you know, did things that help average people instead of billionaires and white nationalists. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media, through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.